Okay, hello YouTube. This is uh, FNG channel again. Here's a picture of my lathe. Uh, we'll go over some of the parts and the fixtures. As you can see, it's pretty empty. On the inside, a lot of the guts and the end feeds were missing. Uh, we're going to go through and we'll redo uh, all the gears and make sure everything's good and clean. Um, everything seems to be in pretty good shape. Here, we'll take some stuff out. Uh, here's a picture of the Micro Lux 7x14. Um, so it looks in pretty good shape. So let me move the camera around here. And uh, put another light on. Okay, some of the good stuff we got with it. Uh, of course, uh, luckily we got the spindle and all the gears, most of the gears for changing gears, uh, both plastic and uh, metal. Uh, here's all the metal gears. So luckily we didn't have to purchase any of those. Here's the uh, the end cap, and we do have some of the bolts and accessories in there. Um, I don't know if that goes on there, but we'll find out. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't see what's filming, so we'll just keep going. Uh, we have a four jaw chuck. We also have the three jaw chuck. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the teeth. Um, the reverse teeth, so we may be purchasing the, those uh, in the future. I did have the, uh, they give me the original four way head. I uh, uh, gratefully gave me a chuck and a couple center points. This one we'll have to redo, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so hold down clips. Um, I can't remember what this is called. The sign bar, I believe. Uh, looks like a homemade one, but it looks pretty nice. Some hold down clips for the um, the dog plate. So um, also, I, I've got a follower. And um, and this device, I can't remember exactly what it is um, for long stock. And the cord, the motor is already on the machine. A new belt and some miscellaneous little screws. So. Um, let me put all this back and um, the next shot will go through the box of all the stuff I got from Little Machine Shop. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's the box I got from Little Machine Shop. We've got uh, two pages of parts. On all that parcel, and it didn't even weigh six pounds, so that's a pretty good deal. Let's see what we got. Got the two two new bearings, the taper bearings. Got a new bearing cover. Got a, a couple spindle spacers and a knob. I would take it that knob is for the high low. Um, a new drive belt cover. We've got a, a two-speed intermediate shaft gear, which is the uh, the high low. We've got a, uh, here's the new spindle gear that goes on the spindle shaft, all metal again. All right. 
Okay, we got uh, some more bearings here that go on the intermediate shaft. Uh, we also have a couple of the uh, spindle shaft lock nuts. It looked like there was two on there, so I ordered two. Uh, I have a new intermediate shaft. We have a little uh, 20 tooth gear, which may, I think is one of the, the drive gears. Okay, we have the uh, high low shifter um, knob, and then also this mount, uh, which mounts in there, and I believe that's what um, does the forward reverse and also. Uh, has something to do with the um, the main belt drive. All right, here we go. Is the uh, pivot shifter for the forward and reverse? That's on the back. All right, and here we have. Uh, a little detent ball and ring and then this black handle shifter I don't know which one that goes to maybe that's for the uh, forward reverse gear we have another uh, four millimeter spindle spacer um, we have a spring that goes with the forward reverse I'm sure and then um, uh, bag gear mounting screw. The spacer kind of a nut looking thing. On this one we have uh, the gear shaft for the high and low. We also have the uh, detent rod for the forward and reverse. I'm sorry, both of these are probably for the forward and reverse gear. Assembly. Uh, miscellaneous screws cap screws, uh, the fork for the uh, high-low. I know on some of these you guys will correct me. I've been getting the forward reverse and the high-low systems um, confused. Okay, we have a couple metal gears. Um, the bushing and the T. Uh, it's going to be the pulley timing belt intermediate shaft here and then a another change gear this might be the gear I think that drives from the motor and this is the main gear that goes on to the um, the spindle the main gear on the spindle oh yeah and I was also missing uh, the little lead screw bracket here on the end. Uh, a few more little kinds of specialty bolts and nuts and screws. Uh, some retaining rings. Uh, adjustable spring dials. Some keyways. Um, the Hilo shifter arm and the spring for that. Um, and then this little goodie here, the interrupter wheel and uh, the spacer, another spacer that goes on the spindle. Some more uh, different style uh, cap screws. Some more cap screws and a, uh, another key. Some more keys and flat washers, and some more flat washers and another uh, cone uh, socket set screw. Okay, so most of that stuff you can see. We've got a lot of work to do here. We're gonna break it down into little sections and um, and then go from there. So got uh, plenty of work cut out for me and um, hopefully we'll be able to get everything ready
for uh, mock-ups and trial fits. Uh, I did stop by uh, Copper State Nut and Bolt, which is our local nut and bolt company down here in uh, Nogales, and uh, they were real helpful in getting me some of the, the cap screws that uh, uh, that the, the little machine shop uh, was out of stock in. So um, I'll see you on the next video.